Out on the roads, keep your distance from those snow plows. Lauren Schwinker is live with the danger and the damage that can happen if you get too close. Lauren. Yeah, Paul, right now we're on West Chestnut, Chestnut Expressway in front of the Salt Barn, and I spoke to workers here this afternoon. They spent all day gearing up for tomorrow morning, and one snowplow driver shared with me how to keep yourself and your vehicle safe. It's going to distract them as they're driving, having salt pelting their car. Sharing the road. We recommend that you stay back at least 200 feet from the back of the truck. Um, that's going to keep you from getting hit with any salt and it's going to keep you safe so that we can see you. That's Springfield snowplow driver Mark Lawrence. He's been plowing Springfield streets for 16 years. And while many are focused on the actual road conditions, he wants to remind you of the risks while driving next to trucks. And if you're going to pass one of us, um, don't, we don't recommend that you do it when we're putting down the salt because it may hit your vehicle. And getting too close to the plow in the front is extremely dangerous. These are photos of a semi after hitting the front of a MoDOT plow truck in our viewing area past snowfalls. Now the front of the plow can cause extensive damage to your vehicle if you get too close to it. So you want to stay far away from our trucks. And if you can't see the plow's mirrors, the drivers can't see you. We're going to be throwing so, uh, snow as we're pushing the snow off the road. Don't want to get too close to that. So just pay attention to the truck and uh, best advice, stay behind the truck. Drivers like Lawrence say to treat them just like you would emergency vehicles. They should give us plenty of room and it would be best just not to pass us. Now Lawrence tells me they'll start salting the roads first thing tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Lauren Schwenker. Back to you.